Good afternoon. I'm Richard Huguenier, President of the Society for Neuroscience, and I'm welcoming you to Neuroscience 2018. I hope you're having fun. Yeah. Yes? OK. <laughs> the connections you make at this meeting directly strengthen your research, the field, and the global neuroscience community. SFN is committed to supporting our diverse international membership to advance the neuroscience field. Thank you for joining us today for the Peter and Patricia Gruber Lecture. Before the lecture begins, I would like to recognize the Peter and Patricia Gruber Foundation for their continuing support of this lecture and the awards presented here today. Since its inception in 1993, the Gruber Foundation, supported by philanthropist Peter and Patricia Gruber, has fulfilled its mission to honor and encourage educational excellence, social justice, and scientific achievements. The foundation, now affiliated with Yale University, established its prize program to recognize the excellence in fields that help create a better world, including neuroscience. We thank them for their ongoing support of our field and for all of their phil philanthropic contributions. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the uh, president emeritus of the Gruber Foundation, Patricia Gruber. Thank you, Dr. Huguenier, for that warm welcome. I'd like to welcome you to the presentation of the 15th Annual Neuroscience Prize, honoring scientists for major discoveries that have advanced the understanding of the nervous system. We're delighted again to be here in San Diego to present this prize at the 48th Annual Meeting of the Society for Neuroscience. Today, we're here to honor Ann M. Grabeel, Okita Hikosaka, and Wolfram Schultz. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the company they're keeping with our other prizes. The Foundation's prize program, which was established in 2000, now presents three annual $500,000 prizes in the fields of cosmology, genetics, and neuroscience. Each prize recognizes achievements and discoveries that produce fundamental shifts in human knowledge and culture. In August, the Cosmology Prize was presented at the General Assembly of the International Astronomical Union in Vienna to the Planck team, Jean-Luc Puget and Nazareno Mandelazzi. The Genetics Prize was presented in September at the International Congress of Human Genetics in Brazil to Joanne Chori and Elliot Meyerowitz. Nominations for all three of the 2019 Gruber Prizes are open until December 15th of this year. I'd like to acknowledge the founding vision and leadership of my late husband, Peter Gruber, in establishing these prizes and ha having the vision to do it. Beginning to neuroscience, beginning back to neuroscience, we are proud of our illustrious laureate roster and very proud to be adding to it today. The 28 prize, 28, 000, sorry, 2018 prize recipients were chosen by a distinguished advisory board. We deeply appreciate the knowledge, commitment, and enthusiasm that these advisors bring to the judging process. I would also like to thank Richard Huguenier and SFN for their long dedicated support of the Gruber Prize and of the International Research Award in Neuroscience that the foundation funds and that SFN presents every year to deserving young neuroscientists. Let me now ask Dr. Huguenier to present this year's fellowship awardees. Dr. Huguenier. So thank you, Patricia. It's now my honor to present the Peter and Patricia Gruber International Research Award in Neuroscience. Each year, this award recognizes two promising young neuroscientists for outstanding research and educational pursuit in an international setting. This year's recipients are Vikram Gadakar and Johannes Kohl. These selection, the selection committee prepared these remarks uh, outlining Dr. Gadakar's accomplishment. Dr. Gadakar is a Simons collaboration on the global brain and a postdoctoral postdoctoral fellow in Jesse Goldberg's laboratory in the Department of Neurobiology and Behavior at Cornell University. 
He has a PhD in physics from Cornell University and also holds a master's in physics from the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, Bangalore uh, India. His graduate research included working with J.C. Seamus Davis to investigate the existence of a new state of matter, the super solid state. He is currently investigating the generality of neural and reinforcement mechanisms by recording dopamine neurons in songbirds to test if performance error is encoded li in like a reward prediction error. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Kadakar. So our next recipient is Johannes Kohl. Regarding Dr. Kohl, the selection committee remarked, after studying biochemistry, preclinical me medicine, and neuroscience in Germany, Dr. Kohl joined uh, Greg Jeffrey's laboratory at the MRC Molecular Biology in Cambridge uh, in, for his PhD. In his postdoctoral work in Catherine Dulac's lab, he studied the neuronal circuitry that controls sexual uh, um, specific behaviors and received identified specific cells and circuits involved in regulating parental behavior. At the beginning of next year, Dr. Cole will be starting as a group leader at the Francis Crick Institute in London. His goal as a group leader will be to understand how internal physiological states shape information processing in the brain. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Cole. Now we have the presentation of the Gruber Prize in Neuroscience, which will be presented by Patricia Gruber and Bob Wirtz. I'd like to invite Bob Wirtz now. He is the chair of the 2018 Selection Advisory Board to the Neuroscience Prize, and he will present the scientific achievements of today's recipients. Thank you, Pat. This year's Gruber Neuroscience Prize is unusual in that it recognizes not one or two recipients, but three recipients. The only time this has happened previously has been when the prize was awarded to Hall, Rashbas, and Young in 2009 and the same three went on to win the Nobel Prize in 2017. Of course, I don't want to put any pressure on the awardees <laughs> today. Uh, given that the, uh, there are three awards today, which will crimp our time a little bit uh, for the presentation, I'd just like to read you the 2018 Gruber Neuroscience Prize citation. The Gruber Foundation proudly presents the 2018 Neuroscience Prize to Ann M. Graybill, Okahida Ikasaka, and Wolfram Schultz for their pioneering discoveries on the organization and function of the basal ganglia. Ann Graybill discovered the striosome matrix organization of the striatum and demonstrated that striosomes form key nodes in cortical striatal circuits affecting repetitive behaviors, cost-benefit evaluation, and responses to stress. Okahide Hikusaka elucidated the basal ganglia circuitry involved in saccadic eye movements, interactions between reward and punishment, and unique pathways involved in goal-directed actions and skilled responses. Wolfram Schultz's work revolutionized our conception of how reward information is processed by demonstrating that dopaminergic signals, signaling is directly related to reward prediction error, critically underlying reward-related behavior. So at this point, Anne Okihide 
and Wolfram, could you come forward to receive the uh, Gruber Neuroscience Prize? So it's my turn to, <laughs> to thank the Gruber Foundation, the selection committee, and my co-recipients um, for um, awarding us the prize and for being so nice and um, um, companion-like <laughs> co recipients. I made a calculation and um, each one of us three has worked about at least 30 years, more than 30 years in science. If you add that up, we're getting to about 100 years total. And if you divide the 500,000 pounds, uh, dollars into of the uh, 100 years, we're coming out with about $5,000 per year of our work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Patricia and Bob, and, and many people. Thank you very much. I feel my uh, um, award should be uh, shared with my many uh, excellent colleagues who discovered many uh, results, unexpected results. By the way, my life has been completely biased towards science but it was support, fully supported my family members. And today, uh, I'm very happy that uh, my wife, Naiko, and my son, Tomo, are here with, uh, with me. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much for being here. I'm honored myself, of course, to be here and to share this prize with Wolfram Schultz and Okehide Hikisaka. And I'd like to start by saying that I'm just the representative for the many people who have worked in our lab. I've been so very, very lucky to work with them. And I must say one more thing. I'm deeply inspired by the vision of the Grubers and by the continued commitment of Patricia Gruber to keep this tradition going. Peter Gruber and Patricia Gruber have deeply studied different religions, different philosophies, different ranges of science, different cultures, and from all this, they decided that they wanted to determine the most effective ways to benefit mankind. That's how they started this foundation. It's been so good for the whole world. What an ideal it is for us to follow. So I'd like to thank Mrs. Gruber, the foundation, very much the Society of Neuroscience for putting this together, and again, the wonderful people in my lab.